Okay, that video was humongous. I don't know how humongous, but... Because I still haven't checked, but it took a while just to save. And I'm gonna have to check at some point to make sure it's okay. Alright. Oh, this works. Except I want to put that one there, this one there, and this one here. Uh, let me go over that again. I'm gonna put that one there and this one there. So I need to loop around it like this and like this. And like this. Follow the wires. Oh, I can't cross this stream even though it's so shallow. Come on. My fingers were misaligned. I'm like, why isn't my sprint key working? Okay, first things first, I want to be able to get here by boat. This place looks like a labyrinth. Ooh, that's fascinating. Okay, this should be symmetric, right? And I think I have the solution here. It's not symmetric, but wait, wait, what? Oh, right there. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. What am I supposed to learn from this? T-shape can be rotated however I want. And there's a three-piece right there. But it's vertical. Um, so let's put the three there and the T there, but I can't do that. But if I put it over here, I can't cross right there. So let's start rotating the T in odd directions, because if I put it right here and the 3 there, well then it actually doesn't work, does it? Um, I can't put it there. Oh yes I can. I can put the vertical 3 there and that T there, so... because... Oh no I can't, because I can't go that way out of the start. Okay, so I have to come up that way from the start, so let's put the T there and the vertical three there. T, vertical three, so vertical three, T. I think that did it. What? Oh, because I don't encompass both shapes. 
It's a vertical three there, and T there. I can't do that because this thing, it's, it needs a hole. Mm, yeah. How about here and vertical T there? I think that'll work. Three. Do you see this shadow? It looks like the end of a line puzzle. That's what I'm looking at right now. And um, this looks like it could be part of a sphere or something. Meaning a circle, sorry. Hell, that round thing over there looks like it could be part of something. I feel like I should probably go back to the bird tweets in the jungle. Because those seemed easier than, uh... Whatever it is I'm doing now. There's a lot of places to go. This is very non-linear. But I guess that's okay. Ooh, this is quite complicated. weren't so bad. If I start here, I will end here. puzzles. Am I going to finally figure out what this windmill means? What? It failed and then I succeeded. Both solutions I didn't even bother looking to see what it did. Let's take the upper path. for it to look right. Is that close enough? How about this? Where do I need to stand to make that look right? Also, I still didn't figure out what was moving.
Oh, okay, this just controls the ramp. Okay. It looks like this is finally gonna teach me what's going on. I have to go next to it, I think. Okay. I need to touch it. I don't think it matters how many times. Yep, as long as I'm next to one edge. No. Hmm. Need two edges then? Huh. Exactly. Hmm. I think I see what's going on. It needs to be in the same region as a hexagon, and it'll delete a hexagon for you. Same region as a hexagon, deletes a hexagon. Okay, that's a lot to keep track of, actually. Any one of these hexagons, it would work. Find a path where it works if I delete all but one hexagon. to give it one to delete. And this time there's nothing, so I just need to... wait, what? Wait, I can't do this without a... It, it doesn't work, no matter what, I think. I can't come back and get this. Which means I have to go this way to start. Then, if I have to go this way to start, I can't turn up because I can't come back and get this one, which means I have to keep going. Then my two options are turn up, If I go up, then I have to go up. Oh. Yay, logic. And now this is different because it's given me something to delete stuff with. Only mo one, mind you. I think. So this now is different because I need to give it something to delete, so... I felt like I had a solution on the last one at some point that would work.
can only delete one. So let's do that. Elevator. I think it controls the elevator. It's at the lowest setting. It's already there. This is seriously horrifying. Moving pieces with... Birds. Definitely look carved. Statues just keep getting creepier and creepier. Oh, no. No, you didn't. You didn't give me a way to control this from here. Because that... there could only be one reason. It's needed to solve that in-world puzzle. So the solution needs to be incorrect to start with. Which means I need to wall off this guy with those two, I think. It actually deletes it. That's pretty cool. And also horrifying. It makes this really flipping difficult. That doesn't make any sense. How do I want to pair this up? Ideally, I'd just find one big shape that I can close all the green ones in and one red, but that doesn't actually seem to be possible.
No matter what, encompassing more than one run. I'm gonna come back to this. I'll maybe go back over to the birds. Lots of places to go. place.
good enough, I think. Ooh, what's this now? What is divine in man is elusive and impalpable, and he is easily tempted to embody it in a concrete form, a church, a country, a social system, a leader, so that he may realize it with less effort and serve it with more profit. Yet, Puzzles? The attempt like to externalize so the kingdom of heaven in a temporal shape must end in disaster. It's shaped like the stairs that I want to walk up. Charters, and also that was a very nice touch because now I can arms. actually walk over here without those feeling like I need to stay up there because it's such it a pain together. to lower the elevator. And those who seek it in company will perish by themselves. Hugh Kingsmill, 1944. Who's Hugh Kingsman? I like this quarry. Look at all these pretty rocks. I think rocks are pretty, don't you? Well, from the looks of things, at some point, I am gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. I think there's two wires that I need to power on. There's the one over here, and there's the one in that building. I understand how these windmill -y things work now, so I can probably work on this building too. One, three, obviously I need to delete the four. So how do I fit the two and the three? The two needs to go there, the three needs to go there, and I need to just delete the four. Bam! I need to give this guy one thing to delete. Alright, both of these cannot be in the same place together. I can solve it either this way, or I think I can maybe... No, I can't, because no matter what, this will enclose both in the same area, and that would be a problem. Also, the only way to do that would be to, like, oh, never mind. We already know it's impossible. Which one of these things do I want to delete? Honestly, I think it's the big ol' L block in the middle, because then I can just do this. There we go. All right, again, which of these things do I want to delete? Um, an isolated square in the middle does not work. But a zigzaggy piece over here does, so let's do that. Is that a saw? Now I feel bad that I lowered it. I would have thrown my face against it in an attempt to die. I'm gonna find a way to die in this game. Mark my words. Again, has multiple solutions. I guess I just get to pick um, where the ramp comes over. Also, how do I... Oh, the ramp. The ramp will do it. Maybe. Maybe not. Son of a... Get back here. Should've hopped on the ramp. Should've known better than that. on the ramp from here. I gotta put this over there. Yay. Purple window. Well, first let's do this. Okay. 
Does this control the ramp? What does this one control? And I don't really have much of a choice here, do I? Okay, that's that's a mystery for now. All right, purple windmill. Show me what you got. I am not understanding what's going on. And also my apartment's really cold and I'm shivering. I think it means that's time for dinner. I like dinner. Dinner is good. And I've been playing longer than I should, like I said a long time ago. I'm kind of binging on this game right now. When I should be doing practice questions to study for my flipping boards, so I'm... I'm gonna call it right here. For real. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, tore, tore my hand away from the mouse there. I'll catch you later, you lovable nerds.